Hi, I'm Sinead Reid and I'm six times BMX and Track World Champion. It was amazing to be returned back to the track. I've only been back in the track four or five weeks due to injury. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed it. And I've been really, really ahead of target. And the race didn't actually highlight that because of the false start and then being dropped by the mechanic wasn't the ideal preparation going in. And I've already gone half a second faster a week before the event. So to come out with the time didn't really reflect upon how well I'm actually doing. Um, but I went in with no expectations. I wanted to go in, return back to track. And that was the first step along the way to the Olympic Games. So, you know, I achieved that. I didn't achieve the time wanted to do but you know it's, it's, it's a stepping stone along the way. I had wrist surgery um, just after the BMX world so I haven't been on a BMX bike since August when I crossed the finish line after winning um, which is, is quite hard because you come off this such a big high and then I, I found out that I needed surgery on my wrist which was kind of disheartening but you know I got, I got on with that, I had a good solid winter's training, moved on to the track and now it's kind of looking towards getting back onto the BMX. I mean, it's absolutely amazing what Cadbury's are doing with the uh, Spots vs Stripes campaign. It's getting people in different environments and different cultures to come together and take part in a sport and activity that they may never have done. You know, they might not want to just go straight into mainstream sports and compete, but they might want to have fun and get involved in activities. And this is the perfect way of doing so. It's come 2012. I think it's going to be extremely hard to do both BMX and track, but you know. I, like I say, after the, after the last Olympic Games, it's about the journey, not the destination. And I absolutely love doing track. I absolutely love doing BMX. I love training. I love travelling the world, and you know, love everything about it. I've done it in the past. I've been world champion in both BMX and track in the same year twice, um, and then won a silver medal also. So it's there. It's you know, it's been achieved before. So it's not something I'm trying to magic up and just think, oh yeah, I might try track and BMX that year. It's been achieved, and it's just about planning and really getting that planning right. And I feel like I've matured a lot since the last Olympics and really grown up and and I feel like I can cope with the pressure. So yeah, just, I just want to enjoy the, the journey.